of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Hey, Rags, come back here. Yes, I'm talking to you. Now you stay right here like Bumps told you to. Elf goes on now. Don't you want to see him? Well, sit still then and watch. Boy, look at that. He sure is strong. Now what? Hey, kid. Oh. You seen a guy named Belcourt on? Stop it, Rags. Yes, sir. He's on doing his act. He's a what? Uh, he's working. That's him out there pulling that wagon by his teeth. Huh? Oh. This here dog? Yeah. He doesn't seem to like me the way he's growling. I guess he don't know you, that's all. Uh, you a friend of Belko's? Uh, yeah, yeah. And I want to see him. Uh, how soon does he get through with the stunt he's doing now? Right now. Oh, that's a pretty good trick, huh? Uh-huh. Does he come out this way? Yeah. Here he comes. Hey, what are you all rigged up in that swell-looking suit for? Oh, I go on in a minute with my act. <laughs> a kid like you? Sure. They sure started me young in the circus. Hello, Jerry. Hiya, Belko. Uh, here's somebody looking for you. Well, well hello. Pipe it down. Uh, Come over here with me. What's the matter? Why didn't you meet me last night? I had something else to do. Uh, you did, did you? You act like something was wrong. You know I don't like the idea of having to come here on the circus lot to see you. Why not? Oh, never mind. You wouldn't understand anyway. I try to get this straight. Yeah? I don't want you to work for me for a while. Not until I tell you to start again. But... You understand what I mean? Yeah. I guess so. Okay. But why? Never mind the why. I can use the extra money. Well, I don't need you for a while. Okay. But what's the matter? Ain't I doing my work all right? I tell you some other time. Well, uh, when do I start working again? I don't know yet. I'll have to wait and see. Uh, you're doing what I told you? What you mean? You're looking around for somebody to... Uh... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know somebody. That's a good. Well, I'll be seeing you later. And listen, watch your step. All right. Oh, I, I Boy, don't you know. you sure missed it. What? what? Patsy, was she good? I don't know when I've seen her do her act so well. Hey, hey, look, Jerry. The clown band is on. Don't you go on soon with the elephant? Well, oh, I'll say I do. Yeah. I nearly forgot. Uh, I'll be seeing you later. So long, Jerry. Come on, Rags. I'll take you to the <laughs> Look at that boy run. Say, he must be late. He sure is, Patsy. Or oh, oh, I mean, Miss Patsy. Oh, that's all right, Belgo. You can call me Patsy. Can I? That sure is fine, then, Patsy. <laughs> You feel funny calling me by my first name? I feel proud being able to do it because I... <laughs> well, uh, well, what's the matter with you? I feel fine, but uh, as I was going to say... Well, uh, go ahead and say it, Belko. <laughs> well, uh, uh, oh, <laughs> well, for, for such a big, strong man, 
I'm having a mighty hard time to get a few little words out. <laughs> well, Patsy, I, uh, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I think you're mighty fine. <laughs> oh, I see. You, you like me. No. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I, uh, of course I like you. Oh, it, it seems I just can't say what I had in mind to say. Well, <laughs> what were you going to say, Belko? <laughs> Come on now, uh, tell me. Stop it. Stop looking at me that way. Well, what's the matter, Belko? Those eyes. Those big brown eyes. Oh, is, is something the matter with my eyes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I don't mean there is. I mean... Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> but your eyes, when you look at me like you do... <laughs> well... Just get weak. Oh, a big, strong man like you gets weak. But see, if you're teasing me, I wish <laughs> you would stop. Oh, I am sorry, Belko. Now I'll tell you something. Yeah? I like you, too. <laughs> you mean that? Surely I mean it. Then that's better. <laughs> now I can say what I started out to say. Good. Well, uh, what I wanted to say was, I was going to ask you if you'd go out with me tonight after the show. Go out? <laughs> Where? I mean, go get something to eat. Oh. Some place there we can be alone and talk. Well, I'd love to go with you, Belko. Good. <laughs> then I'll meet you right after the show, and we'll go uptown to some nice little cafe. Uh-huh, huh? that's fine. Oh, look at Jerry take his bow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Belko, he's getting better every show. Patsy, <laughs> you're making me very happy. Uh, what? Oh, nothing. You, you said something, Belko. Uh, I said, uh, here comes Jerry now. Well, uh, where will you meet me after the show tonight? Out by the main entrance. Uh -huh. As soon as you change your clothes. Uh -huh. I'll be there, Belko. Hi, Patsy. Hello, Jerry. How did... How did you like my act this show? You were all right, Jerry. All right? Say, you were wonderful. Jerry, do you know where kangaroos come from? Why, sure, from Australia. Well, why don't you learn to talk Australian so you can do an act with the kangaroos? Oh, now, don't let him kid you, Jerry. Oh, he can't. I know that Australians talk English just like we do. <laughs> well, I don't see why you lie, Belko. Jerry didn't fall for your joke. Yeah, the joke's on you, Belko. Huh? You'll have to think up a better one than that. <laughs> you don't find Jerry's leaving, I tell you. He's much too smart. Well, I, I have to go now and get ready. Can I walk over with you, Patsy? Uh, yes, yes, you can come. All right. I'll just take this big belt off. It's kind of uncomfortable. Well, why do you wear that big white belt? Oh, it just looks good with the costume. Oh. Well, uh, come on. I'll have to hurry. Uh, goodbye, Jerry. So long, Patsy. See you after a while, Jerry. Goodbye. Jerry? Uh-huh. Jerry, who is it? Where are you? Come here, Jerry. Find these boxes. Oh, it's you made your mind. Not so loud. What's the matter? Shh, Jerry. I don't want Belko and Patsy to know I was hiding back here. Oh, they're way over near the back door already. Listen, Jerry, I was right here behind these boxes all the while they were talking, and do you know what? No, what? Belko asked to take Patsy out tonight. Yeah? And she accepted his invitation. Well, has Patsy got a right to go out with who she wants to? Yes, but after all, I'm a friend of hers. Oh, well, I'm a friend of hers, too. Mm, then we shouldn't let her go out with Belko. Well, if she likes Belko, there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, is that so? Oh, Belko seems all right. That's just it. He isn't all right. Right. He isn't a fit and proper person for Patsy to be going out with. What makes you say that? Well, I have my reason. Well, what makes you say Belko isn't all right? You really want to know? Well, sure I do. Then I'll tell you. And what I tell you is true. You believe in Rola, uh, Rosa Razzi, the fortune teller, don't you? Oh, I guess so. Yes, you, oh, you guess so. Didn't she tell you a lot of things that come true? Yeah. And didn't she tell Johnny Bradley that time he was going to leave the circus and go away in an airplane? Yeah. And what more proof do you want? I tell you, Jerry, Rosa is wonderful. Everything she says will come true. Well, what is it? Well, I went to Rosa this morning to have a reading. And she told me that a young girl, a friend of mine, was in danger. Oh, who could that be? Who could that be? Why, Patsy, of course. Why? Well, Rosa said that she was getting in with the wrong kind of company. You mean Patsy? Certainly. She said there was a big man that would mean a lot of trouble for this young lady. A big man. So you figure she meant Belko. Exactly. But there are a lot of other big men in the circus. Oh, Jerry, you're not trying to see this my way. I am too, but you have to look at it every way. Oh, there's no two ways about it. When Rosa specifies a big man, she means a bigger man than an ordinary big man. It's Belko she has reference to, I tell you. All right. 
What else did she say? She said if I would keep my eyes and ears open, I would learn something and be able to warn my friends. Oh, that's why you were listening to Belko and Patsy when they were talking. That's exactly it. Oh, what did he find out besides that he wants to take her out? Well, he said that he wanted to take her to some restaurant where they could be alone and talk. And she's such a pretty little thing. I hate to have anything happen to her, and you can bet nothing will if I can help it. You better be careful, though. Belko is pretty big. Jerry, I'm going to tell you something that'll do you good to remember. Yeah? It's not size that counts, it's brains. It's far better to be a mental giant than a big hulk like Belko that can lift 500 pounds with one hand. A mental giant? Yes, like, uh, well, like, uh... Like you, Major? Well... Hello there. What's the secret meeting all about? Oh, hello, Mr. Randall. It's no secret meeting. No, of course not. Jerry and I were just talking. And did you have to go behind these boxes to talk? No, but we thought we'd be out as a way here. Oh, I see. Were uh, you looking for me, Mr. Randall? No, but now that I'm here, I might tell you that you didn't keep your promise, Jerry. What promise? Well, you told me you'd go right over to the wagon and change out of your costume the minute you finished your act with El Mundo. You shouldn't be standing around in it this way. That costume of yours costs quite a lot of money. I know it, Mr. Randall, but just as I was going to go change, I saw Major, and he had something to tell me. It's my fault, Mr. Randall. No, no, no harm done, but don't make a habit of it, Jerry. Oh, I won't. Oh, they finished. Who? Oh, oh, the Russo. Yeah, it's a nice act. You bet it is. Say, Major. Yes, Jerry? Did Bumps tell you about the new stunt he's going to do with rags? Oh, what's that, Jerry? Oh, Bumps is going to work out something swell with rags. It's going to be a fake bullfight, isn't it, Mr. Randall? Hmm, something like that. A bullfight with a dog? Oh, that's a good one. What's wrong with it? Oh, nothing, I guess. Only I don't see what he means. How can he work rags in a stunt like that? He's got it all worked out. He just has to rehearse it with rags now. Yeah, leave it to Bumps to figure out something. He, he's always thinking something new to do. Yeah, it's a star turn that's been in his family for generations. It, it isn't a new act. Well, I've got to run along. Goodbye, Mr. So Randall. long. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now, to get on with what I was saying. Yeah, go ahead, Major. Well, if what Rosa tells me is true, and I believe it is... I'm going to do my share to protect Patsy. Well, what do you mean, Major? Well, I've got a feeling that Belko is going to bring a lot of trouble Patsy's way, just like Rosa says. So I'm going to try and stop it before it happens. How? By trailing Belko and watching him. I'm going to try and find out something about him, and I believe I will. And then? Well, if I do, I'll warn Patsy and save her from any harm. Aren't you afraid? Me? Afraid? I should say not. I'm going to do some real detective work, Jerry. Everybody in this circus will be looking up to Major Might before I get through. Mm -hmm.